Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. We continue the next conversation as IPOP insists on a sit-at-home order ahead of the governorship elections in Anambra State. And to make sense of all of this, we have a former member of uh, the State House of Assembly, Anambra State, Honorable Tony Izekwelu. Good morning. It's good to have you join us. Good morning. All right, so as you already know, um, IPOP is saying that the one, the Fed, they are prevailing on the federal government, and that's why they have declared, uh, you know, a one week from the 5th of November to the 10th of November, a sit-at-home order. First of all, what do you make of this? There's an election that is supposed to come through, and we have seen the level of compliance so far. What should we expect? Oh, thank you so very much. Um, firstly, um it's um, an unfortunate development, and um, which is going to impact very negatively on another election and then uh, on democracy in Nigeria. Um, the Sidatum, actually, if we look at it critically well, is as a result of the fact that. Um, Everybody expected that on the 21st of October, when Mazi Namikano appeared in court, that the 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 judge the judge should have um, taken the application of his lawyers for him to be transferred from the DSO facility to maybe a, a former correctional center most likely maybe Kuche or any other place. But unfortunately, the, um, the federal government decided to uh, not to uh, accept or listen to that particular application. The Nantano and his lawyers have complained about his deteriorating health and that the mediator facility isn't good to take care of the health and the sacrificial situation of Marvin Nandekano. But unfortunately, you know, you know, in Nigeria there's always a double standard for um, different types of citizens in this country. First and foremost, the federal government and uh, everybody should know that he who goes to equity must come with clean hands. First, the um the apartment care was released in 2017 on bail. He has always been ready to honor the court invitations, but unfortunately the federal government now used security agencies to evade the out, killed so many people in his in his compound, and maybe he had if he had been in the house, he now had been killed. Now, based on um, uh, on tip of and self preservation, Nantano had to escape and run for his dear life. The first thing they did at uh, Sunday Ibu uh, Road com uh, compound some few months ago, where they killed so many of his aides, and then and they have gone to court now and have got the federal government to be sanctioned by the courts. Um, the federal government of Nigeria. This time around, this law is unthinkable. Knowing full well that you cannot uh, solve a problem by getting another problem, you cannot correct a wrong by even a greater wrong. Oh. Honorable the, uh, the, the, the kidnap of Nani Kalu from Kenya back in Nigeria is even a greater crime. Than the, than the crime for which you can, can I quickly step in? Honorable Ezekwalu, let's quickly step in Hello? because we're, we're working with, with uh, some time here. Um, I think we, we, are, we already understand the background and where all the, you know, the anger or agitation is coming from. Um, what, we, what we were trying to find out is, do you think that this is the right approach by the IPOB asking for a seat at home when there's meant to be an election on the 6th? Um, and how do you think this helps in any way? Well, to me, it is not the best thing at this point in time. I am 
totally in line with what they are advocating for. But this a point should have come at a certain time when Anambra election is around the corner may not be the best vote for democracy, for Anambrans, for evils, and for everybody. However, they feel it's an instrument that they can use to make the federal government to bend to in order to either to grant bail or to leave in that unconditionally. But however, if it will go ahead with it, it won't be good at all for our people. Because if you go to Anambra now, you will see the massive deployment of military, police, and other security around the state. And then, um, basically, the lives and properties of our people are in great threat and danger. If I have my way, I shall have appealed to, to, to them to calm down and just wait for the next city on the 10th of November. However, at the situation is, I really want to also use opportunity to ask our elders, youth leaders, political leaders, and others. Everybody should intervene in this point in time so that this particular impact do not generate more. Okay, but do you think that the people should obey uh, this sit-at-home order? Should they stay back? Well, it's not about what I think. But the issue is that the, uh, we the Igbos who feel totally alienated by the, the government of uh, uh, President Muhammad Buhari um, sees the IPOB and the medical as a symbol of their freedom and liberation. And the most majority of the people naturally obey orders from IPOB. Naturally. Because of purely survivalist um, interest and tendency. Some of that out of fear. Let alone, it's good that everybody comes out to vote. But I tell you, it won't be that way. Unless it is lifted. Well, I have been part and parcel of this place, and I know that our people, the officials are totally passionate about the issue of the interest of the Anambra man, evil man in Nigeria, which has been seriously bastardized and the way we have been treated in Nigeria. Yeah, well, um, Honorable, um, how do you think you know the people of Anambra um, who actually come out to vote and those who don't vote uh, would feel after the 6th of November um, and the election is won by someone who, you know, may be, you know, from a totally different political party than ABGA, maybe an APC candidate, um, would that, you know, reflect in any way different from, you know, for the people of Anambra? Well, I think, uh, to me, the reason why the federal government acted the way they did towards Manikaro is to, for actually to react the way they are reacting. And then it would be good for my details are didn't hold well. Definitely the must have to be a, a winner. Yes. And then the APC is not at on ground in other places. Forget most of these uh, media and the political propaganda you are seeing all around the manifestations and all that. Our people dislike so much APC because they feel that the APC Buhari government hates them. It's not a more that the Abba must win, but the issue is that in a free and fair election where people are allowed to vote, it is almost impossible for the APC to win. The PDP is still there, very much acceptable by our people. Abba is very much acceptable by our people. That's also YPP, that ADC, and others. It can go anyway, but I tell you, that if there's this is at home and our people uh, don't come out to vote, definitely the federal government will manipulate the election in favor of APC, at which not what we want. And our people, people will not be happy. And then we may have a, a repeat of the evil case in Anambra because Anambra people, the people, the masses will resist and impose government in Anambra state. So uh, uh, all around, everybody may, may be a loser in this situation. 
That is why some of us are pleading and calling for our brothers, uh, both the leadership of IPOB, and then on the federal government, let us have a, a little point in this situation. I think it is not, it wouldn't be a bad idea if the federal government negotiates with IPOB leadership, negotiates with the Nandikano, before that date, they can, they can, the court can, can reconvene before that date, and then now they can either direct bail or move to a um, uh, correctional center where he can be better taken care of. Because in Nigeria, an accused is assumed innocent until he is found guilty by competent court of law. Okay, um, Honorable Ezek, uh, Tony Ezekwelu, uh, we, of course, uh, there's still a couple of days before the 6th of November, so I'm looking forward to speaking with you again and um, bringing other angles to this conversation up. Um, but thank you for the time that you've shared with us. Um, I, I would, you know, ensure that we do have another conversation before then. Good morning once again. Thanks for joining us. Thank you us. so very much. I'm most likely, be, I'm most glad to be happy to be part of you and part of the program any day, any time. Absolutely. All right, and um, it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for being part of the conversation. Let's not forget that we'll do this tomorrow. And uh, of course, if you feel to be part of the conversation this morning, follow us on all of our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram is at Plus TV Africa. You can also check the conversation on YouTube is at Plus TV Africa. I am Messi Bopo. Do have a great day. And I am Osao Gye Ogbonwang.